What's going on, Louise here? To show you the HM2060 creating and editing solid geometry. Today we'll learn how to create and make operations with solids and how 3D topology works. Let's get right to it. Open the solid geom HM file and put it on shaded view mode. Looking at it this way, we can't really say if it's a full solid or just bounding surfaces put together, but we can figure that out by going to the delete panel, select surface, pick a surface, and delete. And we see that it's hollow inside, so it's really just comprised of surfaces. Just by being able to delete the surface was actually an indication of that. Go ahead and press Ctrl Z to bring the surface back again. Then let's create a solid from the bounding surfaces. In the Geom page, Solids panel, Bounding Surfaces sub panel, verify that the Auto Select Solid Surfaces option is checked. Then select any surface in the model. Hypermesh automatically selects all surfaces, then click Create. Now we have a full solid. And if we try to delete the surf, like I'm doing right now, we get an error message in the status bar saying that it is part of a solid. And we also realize that the exterior edges are thicker, indicating that they belong to a solid. Now we'll create another solid, go to the cylinder full sub panel. Um, the bottom center selector is active then pick the temporary node. The selector moves to the normal vector option, so go ahead and select the other node. Type 1.5 for base radius and 25 for height. Then click create. And a solid cylinder is created on top of that first solid we had. Now we'll perform a so-called boolean operation with the solids by extracting the volume of the cylinder from the original solid part. So go to the Solid Edit panel, Boolean sub-panel. Set the operation type to simple and the operation to A minus B. Remove B from A. So click the A selector and pick the original solid. Then activate the B selector and pick the cylinder. It may be a little hard to pick it up because it's uh, entirely inside the other solid. If you pick the wrong one, deselect using the right mouse button and try again. When it's done, click Calculate. Hit Return and take a look through the hole to confirm that it was done correctly. Let's split the solid into smaller solids using bounding lines. Back to the Solid Edit panel. Select the Trim with Line sub panel. Activate the Width Bounding Line selector and set it to Solids. Click on the solid, then activate the Line selector and pick these four lines. Then click Trim. And the plane turns yellow, indicating that it is now a bounding surface to two solids. Let's try another method. Activate the Width Cut Line selector and select the small solid we have just trimmed out. Go to the Model Browser and show the View 1. Then click on Drag a Cut Line. Pick a point about here and the status bar displays we have picked the sort point. Then pick the final point about here, roughly dividing the solid in half. Then middle click and the split is done. Let's do it again with this trim solid. So select it, click drag a cut line and divide it in half. Select now the view 2 from the model tree and let's split it one more time. Put it here. We'll merge some of the trimmed solids now. Go to the Merge sub panel, then activate the solid selector and pick the three solids. Then click Merge. 
Let's split the solid using another method. Go to the trim with plane sub panel and show the view tree by the model tree. Activate, activate the solids with plane selector, then pick the big solid. With the N1 selector active, press and hold the left mouse button and move the cursor over this edge so it becomes highlighted. Then click anywhere on it to set any N1. Now do it again for nodes N2 and N3. Then click trim and the solid was trimmed by a plane defined by N1, N2 and N3. Let's use yet another method. Go to the trim with lines sub panel, activate the solids with sweep lines selector and select this solid. Activate the lines selector, then pick these edges which we have just used for N1, N2 and N3. In sweep 2, set the orientation to the x axis and verify, verify that the sweep all option is selected. Then click trim. Another method go to the trim with plane surf sub panel, activate the solids with plane selector, select the solid with the cylinder removed and set the orientation to z-axis. Click and hold, pass over this edge, then click anywhere on it to set the base node. Then click trim, and the solid was trimmed by the xy plane passing through that base node. One last method now, go to the geom page, surfaces panel, spline filler sub panel, Clear the Auto Create and Keep Tangency box. Select these four lines in this kind of horseshoe body. Then click Create. Now go back to the Solid Edit panel, Trim with Plane Surf Sub panel. Activate the Solids with Surfs. Then select that solid. Activate the Surf Selector. Select that surface we have just created, uncheck the trimmer box, then click trim. We can now suppress the exterior lines that are not bounding edges to make it look better. So go to the jump page, edge of the panel, suppress sub panel, select lines by geometry, then select all solids and add to selection. Set the break angle to 45 and click suppress. And now the non bounding edges have been dashed. That concludes our tutorial for today. We have learned many different ways to split a full solid, which is a useful tool if you want to later mesh them in different ways or set different materials or something like that. I hope that was useful for you. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.